Hello folks, this is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. It's a Friday evening and it's just about that time where it's becoming dusk. And of course I'm in the garage and little Opie's walking around. He just loves the garage. Um, Kind of a reflective time for me uh, today. Uh, the last two days, uh, I did a lot of yard work, namely trimming my oak tree. That was quite a project. Um, <clears throat> I have a lot of smaller projects to do. I'm just checking on little Opie here. Um, I want to sweep the garage good tomorrow, and uh, we have the, uh, the, the the rock beds, um, these little rock walls that are all throughout my yard. I want to, I need to straighten out the the rock walls. The rocks are starting to get crooked and that kind of thing. Then I really want to clean the bird baths really good. So, um, but tomorrow's Saturday and on me TV, um, all day Saturday, they have the, the Westerns and the f first one is on, is at 8 a.m. I forget the, the name of it, but, um, Grandma Walton, Alan Corby, she plays the newspaper editor in the town. And I like, I like, it's a different role for her, but she's still kind of like that, you know, that pepper, uh, kind of feisty character in, in the, I forget the name of the show now. So it starts at eight, eight o'clock in the morning on Saturday on me TV. Uh, I don't have a lot planned. I, I might, I don't know. I'm, I want to at least clean and vacuum my car I, i'm not going to wash the car i just i i think i'm going to go to the car wash it just takes a lot of energy to wash the car you know i got <laughs> always got like oh <laughs> i get my hand in the way holding the, the camera the, um i'm keeping an eye on opie here he's cute um Let me take a moment here and let you know he's going inside the car now. He's okay. Um, he likes to climb on the roof of the car. It makes me nervous all the time. I um, I need to organize my comic books a little better. And one of the things I want to do, maybe tomorrow, is go through uh, my old Silver Age and Bronze Age Marvel comics. Uh, when I was a kid, I bought a lot of DC comics, namely uh, Superman, Action, Batman Detective, Adventure Comics, Flash, and uh, Superboy. I like Superboy a lot. And then my Marvel for when I was in um, like seventh and eighth grade, sixth, seventh and eighth grade, my Marvel was mostly um, Spider-Man, a sprinkling of Fantastic Four. And uh, uh, Avengers, but I, I don't have a lot of them. Now the Bronze Age, which began in 1970 in my junior year of high school, January of 70. I was in my junior year of high school. That's when the Bronze Age begins. I've got a lot of, um, not a lot, considerable amount of um, some Iron Man and then Captain America. I think, I think by 1970, it used to be Tales of Suspense, and they'd have a Captain America story, and then an Iron Man story. And then Captain America 
had his own comic book and then Iron Man had his com own comic book around 1970, I think it was, maybe 1969. So I've got some Captain America. And I, I think I'm going to take it easy tomorrow and, and, and catch up on reading some of my old comic books. I um, have, in the last year or so, have a philosophical enlightenment on comic books. I used to shoot for, of course, you know, my days of working in the, uh, at uh, the phone company. I worked, I worked in the public relations department of AT&T for a little, about 12 years. And I worked in various advertising agencies after that uh, in their editorial department. And, you know, I had a couple of dollars in my wallet and I could go for the go on eBay and go to comic book shows and get the higher end comics. And I have a philosophy of um, um, buying comics, comic books for one purpose, to read them. <laughs> I mean, I'm buying comic books to read them. That's all I'm buying, just to read them. So I don't care if they're in, uh, uh, you know, poor condition or whatever, you know. So, um, now, those of you new to the comic book collecting uh, hobby, uh, when a comic book is said it's in good condition um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I think good is about a 2.0. So, good isn't really that good. Um, you've got fair, good, very good, fine, and near mint and mint. Um, and then there's variations between like on good to very good. There's good plus, very good minus, very good, very good plus, uh, fine minus, Fine, fine plus, very fine minus, very fine, very fine plus, near mint minus, near mint, near mint plus, and then mint condition, which um, unless you take it right from the printing press, very few comic books are really in mint condition, at least honestly in mint condition. Um, so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow, catch up. Uh, First thing, uh, watch the uh, the Western on MeTV at eight in the morning. Alan Corby plays the newspaper editor. Get kind of a kick that kick out of her role. Then um, I think I might, you know, maybe I think dig up some of my old Iron Man comic books. I, I remember I used to I bought a lot of Fantastic Four in high school and in my first two years of college and some of them I sold when I was between I would well I was never I wasn't out of work but I ended up working in a in a store and wasn't making as much money so I sold um, a few, quite a few of my comic books on Back then they had Yahoo auctions and I did fairly well. Um, so let me check on my kitty cat here. Opie, say hello to the fans. Opie, say hello to the fans. See the, um, the rain before and my sister and I went out um, a while ago and uh, the roof is wet so I, I'm really kind of worried that he might, he might fall he's so cute he really is so cute he's such a good cat Opie be careful now what are you going to do Opie he gets a kick out of this wire here <laughs> he gets a kick out of the wire he's so funny Opie, say hello to your fans. Opie, 
Opie. Opie, come here. Opie. Opie. Opie, say hello to you. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Oh. Opie, say Remember, I taught you when I'm filming you, you can say meow. Say meow. He's so funny. Be careful, Opie. Be careful. Opie. Oh, boy. I tell you. It's a little bit wet there, you know. What are you doing, Opie? Opie. He's so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. I know people are going to write in because I have the Coca-Cola there and it's not good to drink Coca-Cola. Uh, but what am I going to Once in a blue moon, I, I, I have a soda. Once in a blue moon. Opie. 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 He's so cute. Opie. <laughs> He's a character. Opie. This is what scares me here. There he goes. Okay. So, um, I'm going to sign off for tonight. I still have to put water in the two bird baths. I'm going to close up the garage and bring Opie in. I'm kind of tired. Uh, I got a pretty good night's sleep last night, but... I'm tired in the sense of, um, I think I did a little too much yesterday with uh, trimming a tree. I'm trying to grow a beard here. Uh, see it? It's I, I have a. It's gonna. It's probably gonna come out all white. And uh, eh, I'll see. See how it looks. All right, folks. Richard may be signing off, and uh, I hope. Uh, I hope everybody is healthy and safe. And uh, until my next vlog, take good care.